Our team coverage continues, Mark, now with uh, Cron 4's Mike Pelton, who is live at Terminal 3 at SFO, where many more passengers spent the night as well. Mike, good morning. Good morning, Marty. Well, vehicle traffic is picking up here outside SFO, but there are many who had no choice but to spend the night inside these terminals, either because they rebooked their flight for today or because they're hoping to get on a later flight as a standby, as unlikely as that might be. But take a look at some video from earlier this morning. This is just before 4 o'clock, as I found hundreds of passengers filling the halls of SFO, finding any nook or cranny or phone booth to sleep in. Many travelers tell me they simply couldn't sleep and spent the night watching movies or reading. There are a number of flights canceled, both arrivals and departures, and passengers tell me this experience is surreal. You, you very rarely hear of an uh, airplane crashing, and then I'm spending the night in an airport where an airplane has crashed, which is, you know, a very sad situation for everybody involved. And, and us having to spend the night in the airport is pretty small potatoes when you think about the families that, that are suffering. Now, just by looking at the flight boards inside the terminals, there are a number of flights canceled, both arrivals and departures. I'd say at least a dozen. I do have calls into the airport duty manager to try and get some official numbers and how many flights are canceled this morning. We'll bring that to you when it becomes available. But, Marty, although we keep saying this, it bears repeating. Airport officials would like you to check with your air carrier before you even leave the house to check on your flight status. Yeah, great.